Hi everyone, OpenAI just released a new model series, the O1 series. That is a new LLM that was trained with reinforcement learning to perform complex reasoning. This project was also formerly known as QSTAR or Strawberry, so quite a big announcement. The difference between GPT-40 and O1 is that O1 thinks before it answers. It will use an internal chain of thought before responding to a user. Unfortunately, OpenAI does not really communicate what's going on under the hood, but the best way of thinking how that works is something I found in the API documentation. So here is an example how reasoning works. And here we can see the O1 models introduce so-called reasoning tokens. That means we provide an input for a model and the LLM will not just generate output from that, but will also generate so-called reasoning tokens. These reasoning tokens are used to break down the prompt and considering multiple approaches to generate a response. After generating these reasoning tokens, the model produces a final answer and will discard the reasoning tokens from its context. So let's think of this graphic like a user interaction with an LLM. So we have an input from a user, the model will create the reasoning tokens and break down the prompt and will create a final answer. This will be the input for the second question of a user. Again, the reasoning tokens are created and the output will be used if the user asks again as input. But the limitation is that the context window is 128k tokens. So if the complete prompt exceeds this number, then the output will be truncated. So that's the way this reasoning currently works. OpenAI also released some benchmarks. And if we scroll down a little bit here, we can see that this is a comparison between the GPT-40 model and the O1 preview model. And important, we currently only have access to this preview model, so we can expect an even bigger improvement if we get access to the full O1 model. Here we can see two reasoning heavy tasks, competitive math and competitive coding. The AI ME exam is an exam that is designed to challenge the brightest students in America. And the GPT-40 model only got 13% right. The O1 model gets 83% right. And I think this is a drastic improvement. The same applies for this competitive coding competition from Code Forces. So the GPT-40 model only got 11% right, but O1 got 89% right. The O1 models also surpass human experts in the GPQA diamond test, which is a test to test the expertise in chemistry, physics, and biology. In other fields, the improvement was not quite as drastic, but you can clearly see that in almost every benchmark, the O1 improvement was definitely there. What I find very interesting is the following graphic that is about competitive programming. So GPT-40 had an ELO rating of 808 and was in the 11th percentile of CodeForce's users. The O1 model has got an ELO rating of 1,673, so it's in the 89th percentile. What's really interesting is that we've got this O1 IOI model, and that is a fine-tuned version of the O1 model. This model even exceeds the O1 model. That achieved an ELO rating of 1,807, so it performs better than 93% of competitors. So be aware, that is a website where there are very strong and competitive programmers. So yeah, I know that sounds flashy and quite impressive, but of course we don't want to listen to the OpenAI marketing bros, but make our own experience. So here we got two windows open, one with ChatGPT O1 preview and one with GPT-40. So to select the new models, just click on this drop down and select the GPT-40 model or the O1 preview model or the O1 mini model. Unfortunately, we don't have access to the O1 model, which appears to be even stronger than the preview model. But yeah, it is how it is. So for this task, choose the GPT-40 model and we want the LLM to create a class in Python, a dog that is barking. After barking three times, he has to drink before being able to bark again. So a very simple task with a quite simple prompt. Let's find out how that works. I'm pretty sure that the LLM is able to get that. So let's copy that code, copy it to an online interpreter and we can see that this works fine. So, but the code was quite simple. So let's try it out again, but this time with the new preview model. So here, the process is a little bit different. We can see that here it's thinking, and now it plans how to create this. As you can see, this took five seconds. So if you click here, 
we can see that this is the reasoning process. So these were the reasoning tokens that were created and are not part of the final answer. So very important is this, a counter for barking since the last drink has to be introduced. And this was used to implement this code. Of course, not a very difficult task, but you can see this is how this works. So it is able to solve more complex tasks, but it's also slower than the gpt 4 model. So if you want to try it out, please be aware that you have to be a ChatGPT plus user and be very cautious with your requests. You only have got 30 requests per week. So not a lot of requests to try this new model. So carefully think about the task that you want to try it out with. So maybe you're not a ChatGPT plus user, but you want to use it via the API. Then I probably don't have good news for you because you have to be in tier five as user. So if you have a look at that, what this actually means, this means that if you pay $5 at OpenAI, then you get tier one. If you paid $50, you get tier two. And if you paid $1,000 and it's 30 days plus since the first successful payment, then you are tier five. Below that, you cannot use it. But even if you've got access, then please be aware that the new O1 premium model is a little bit more expensive than GPT-40. So it costs $15 for 1 million input tokens and $60 for 1 million output tokens. For GPT-40, it was $5 for 1 million input tokens and $15 for 1 million output tokens. So significantly more expensive. The same applies for the mini version. So for GPT-40 mini, it was only 15 cent for 1 million input tokens and 60 cent for 1 million output tokens for the OpenAI O1 Mini, it's $3 for 1 million input tokens and $12 for 1 million output tokens. So, so one question that you maybe have after watching this video, should you replace GPT-40 with the O1 Preview or the O1 Mini model? And the answer is a clear no. In my opinion, you should only use the O1 models for complex reasoning tasks. For everything else, use GPT-40. It is faster, it is cheaper and currently O1 does not support data analysis, file upload, web browsing, vision, voice, and everything else that makes GPT-4 so awesome. Okay, so your turn now. Please let me know your opinions about the O1 models of OpenAI in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.